Just days after we were alerted by a City News viewer that she found a weird substance in her dog food, we got another call, but this time for cat food. But what they found in the bag was moving. I noticed that there were, they were moving, moving larvae on the outside of the bag. That is probably the last thing you want to see. Yes. A dozen bugs and larvae, not the protein Michelle DeGear expected to feed her cats. Immediately yelled out, there's maggots on the bag. DeGear is a loyal Purina customer, so it was a shock when she found what she calls cobwebs and larvae in her Friskies cat food. The, I saw dead ones, which I was fine with, but the ones that were still squirming, I was pretty grossed out. The pesty situation is similar to another story we brought you earlier this week. A dog breeder from Caledon said she found cobwebs and plastic in her Purina dog food. We reached out to Nestle, the parent company who owns Purina, to find out what was in the dog breeder's bag. And this is what they had to say in a statement. Based on watching your segment and conversations with the consumer, it looks like what was in the package could be webs from Indian meal moth activity. In instances like this where infestations have occurred, it likely happened at some point after the products left the factory, possibly during distribution or storage. While this situation does not typically pose a health risk to pets or people, it obviously is an unpleasant experience for consumers, especially in a home setting. As always, pet owners are encouraged to contact us with any concerns or questions. When Degeer called Purina about what she found in her cat food, a rep told her that it was also likely the same Indian moth activity. Unlike Jennifer Romeo's situation, Degeer says that she was contacted by Purina right away. They ended up giving her a check for $5 and a generic I'm sorry card. We don't want this to happen to other people's pets and there should have been, a, we'll look into this for sure. But, mm -hmm. but it would have been nice to at least, a letter of apology in, in with the check would have been nice. I didn't even get that. Michelle, just like Jennifer Romeo, is livid about what she found in this bag and is most likely not going to be buying any more Purina cat food. Now, we were alerted to this story by a viewer submission. If you have anything you'd like us to look into, here are some of the ways you can reach us. Near Newmarket, Brandon Rowe, City News.